What's up guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can make some nice vertical menu bars in your ClickFunnels. So in the past, I've done two videos about how to make two horizontal bars without using any code, any CSS. In this video, uh, I'll show you how to do the vertical bar and better yet, I will actually give you the code and all you do is you copy and paste that code into your page, into your ClickFunnels, very simple. And I'll show you what and how you can customize certain features. Uh, to, to adjust and change whatever you want, okay? So let me show you roughly what it looks like. So when you go here, here's my vertical bar. As you can see, it's fully customizable. You can change the size, you can change the font, you can change the padding, the margins, the borders, fully customizable, okay? So you can do something similar with ClickFunnels using these buttons here. But first of all, you'll have to change every single button individually. So if you have five, six, or seven buttons, you need to change every single one of them one at a time. It's a very long and tedious process. Second of all, it's not as customizable. You will not be able to customize as much and as in much detail as we will here. So I will, I will attach a link uh, in the description. Just follow the link there. Uh, but let me show you some of the things that you can change and update based on however you want your menu bar to look like. And, and then that'll be it, okay? Then you literally just copy and paste the code. So here's the code. This is what I will literally uh, just give to you. Uh, as a gift, you just copy paste it into this custom JavaScript HTML. So let me just show you how easy it is. So you're just going to add new element, custom JavaScript. This is the code I'll give you. You copy that code, paste it, save it, open it, ready, okay? Same exact thing, and then let me show you now what you can change, what you can update based on your preferences. So let's go here. So first thing you may notice is you're like, hey, we did this before, this looks familiar, this is CSS. This is custom CSS we've been doing before. Yes, it is. CSS is a part of HTML. So your CSS is actually the styling. Uh, a quote I once heard, don't remember the name from who, but they said your HTML is your fence, your CSS is your color. So you can create the skeleton with HTML, but the, the way to style it is with CSS, okay? So that's what you have going on here. As you can see, it's within these little style brackets. So if you want, you could actually just literally copy that and put it into custom CSS just right over here. You can literally copy paste it there. But I thought, hey, it's probably going to be much easier to just copy and paste one section rather than go from CSS to HTML to CSS, HTML back and forth. Okay, so that's that. So let me show you. Let, let me start with this, what you have to change here. So when you copy paste this code, two things you'll have to change here. Leave everything as is, or actually three. One is you can change the name here. So my name, I named it Vertical Menu. You can name it whatever you want to. Vertical menu is easy to remember. You know what it is, easy to reference, but you can name it monkeys for all I care, right? As long as you change every little section that said vertical menu here, as long as you change that and name it your new name, that's totally fine. That's one. Two more things you need to change. So let's go here first. So this, you see this? What is this? Testimonials about us. That is, that is this. Here, what is this testimonials about us? Okay, that's what that is. So whatever you want it to say in here, just just change it. And if you want to add additional additional menu options, you just copy this, copy this whole thing, paste it here, and write this. Make this something else. So maybe make this. I don't know. What else do they have on pages? Uh, you know, order now. Okay. So it doesn't have to have spaces. I just want to keep everything the same. So it doesn't matter if there's a space or not. Don't worry about that. But as you can see there, I just cop I, I just copy pasted that. And now you see there's another one, right? With the same thing. And notice how it's styled exactly the same. So very convenient, very easy this way, okay? Uh, yeah, so, so that's what you would do. Now, the one other thing you have to do is, first of all, you need to name your section. So for example, the name of this section, if I go to get CSS info is homepage. That's what I named it. After you name it, click update. Scroll down to the next section. Here's the next section. Testimonials, okay, update, done, okay? So just do that for every section. Why am I telling you to do this? Because when you go here, it, notice how it says scroll home, scroll testimonials, scroll about us. This is where you say scroll and then you put in the name of your section wherever you want it to scroll to when people click on your link, okay? 
So if you have an about us section, make sure to name it about us. And then when people click on it, it's going to scroll just to that end. Okay. So right now I have that section named testimonials. So if I click on anything here now, it's not going to do anything because I didn't, because I don't have those sections. But if I click testimonials, it's going to scroll down to testimonials. Now, there's no space here. As you can see, there's, there's no more space. But normally it would go to the very edge of the border and to the very start of that section. Okay, so pretty cool. Okay, so now let's get into the styling section. What can you edit? So don't change any of this. The only things really you should be playing around with are these things here. So the hovering effects you can change and you can also change these. And later on when we go over uh, animations, you can also put it in here in this area here. You can just add it here, okay? And then create your animations by adding a separate one, but I'll, I'll go over that. So for now, so the color, that's the color of your font. You can name it white, you know, whatever you want. You can use a hex code. You can use an RGB code. Um, literally anything, that's the color of your font you can change. Display block, leave that as it is. We need that for vertical menus so that our menu bars stretch horizontally, right? Otherwise, we don't want them to be horizontally. I'll do that in the, in the next video. The width, so because we're saying display block, our our features here, they're spreading across the entire block, okay? So we don't want that, right? Obviously, we want our menu bars to be like little menu bars. So we need to adjust the width here. So if I make this, for instance, 350 pixels, and I click preview, oops, let me try that again. Let me just delete that case. I make this width because it's block. Let me see, 400 pixels. Huh. Okay, so it increased the pixels there. Okay, so I guess because it was it was kind of squished on space. Uh, but that's going to increase that size, okay? And as you can see here, the height is going to do the same thing, okay? Oh, and by the way, it didn't work because I had, sorry, be, be, because I had two options, right, that had the exact same name. So they were giving conflicting information because I had a JavaScript here that said vertical menu as well. So on that one, it said 175. On this one, it said 400. So it was conflicting. So make sure you only have one or you rename this, okay? Rename this in every single menu bar you have. But um, that's that that's basically what the width is. So I'll leave it back to 175. The height is the same thing. It's going to be the height. So the width of your bar, the height of your menu bar. The margin is the space after the after outside of the border between uh, between each of those menu bars, right? That's the margin. Uh, text align. Obviously, you want everything to be aligned in the center. I mean, that's up to you. If you if if you say align left then that text will now be on the left. You say align right, it's gonna be on the right, right? So as you can see there, you get the idea. So let's go further, let's see what we have. Border color, so we've done this in the border video. Make sure to check out my video on borders to see what options you have. There's a lot more customization options, but that's basically where you would adjust your border size and you can add more if you want, again, based on the video we've done. Here's the size of that font. Um, yes, I know it's not really in order, so feel free to just copy paste stuff to make it match. But I'm just I'm just reading it off as I as I as I put it here. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just as as I had ideas coming down, I just wrote stuff down. Okay, um, so that the 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 the, the, the padding is the distance um, before that border. So as you saw here, as you saw in that picture, you had text and then you had space between the border. the The higher the pixels here, the more space you'll have between the text and that border, okay? The font family, so the first font family is the first one that's gonna display in a browser. If that doesn't work in that browser, the next one's gonna work. If that doesn't work, the next one's gonna work, etc., etc. The background color, check out the video on linear gradients. You don't have to use gradients here. You can use basic colors like red. I can say color of my menu options red. I use linear gradients just to add a little extra spice to it, right? Colors are boring, linear gradients have much more variety in there. So just like in our video, you can do as much as you want. I mean, I could say red, blue, red, blue. Don't forget that. Close that out. 
and that should uh, that should change my color gradients to alternating several times now, right? As you can see. And you can do the same with your hovering effects, right? So the same thing here, play around with whatever you want to upon hover. It's going to be oh, this opacity. It's going to be this background color. Text decoration, I said none because normally when you first create a hovering effect, it creates an automatic underline. You don't want that, right? So that's why I said none. So that's basically it. If there's any other features you want to add, just add them, right? It's pretty simple. Add whatever you want. I mean, I like I don't know what else you would want. Um, maybe a little transition or animation again, which we'll do in the later videos, which you can add in here as well. But aside from that, I think that's pretty much it. I don't know what else you may want in this in this little border box, but if there is, by all means, leave a comment down in the description and I'll, I'll see if I can help you do that, whatever it is you want. Okay, so I hope that helped. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned for next video where I'll, 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 I'll give you the code for the horizontal menu, which you can fully customize as well and walk you through that one as well. So once again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you already subscribed. Thank you. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.